Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and we've had a, oh I'm from Western New York and we've had a really gloomy kind of day, real gloomy. It started out with rain and it's been raining on and off. The chickens, every time I go to the door, they come running to the gate. They think they're getting something. I've already given them their chicken scratch. When I got the camera, the dog decided to go into his little carrier. He knows it's showtime <laughs> or something, I don't know. Well, today I was watching some videos and of course I answered my comments and thank you all for your, you, you all are so good to me. It's amazing. But anyways, I was watching videos today and the videos I was watching today had to do with carnivore. For those of you that don't know what carnivore is, it's people that try to eat zero carbs. Now there's different ways of doing carnivore, but the way I would do carnivore, if I were carnivore, which I'm not, would be I would still have the dairy and I would have the cheese and I would have any animal product, anything that the animal, it would nothing plant-based. So that kind of, I guess, covers it. But today I watched and it was the, I'm gonna read exactly what I wrote. I wrote the best interview I have heard in all in a real long time. I couldn't even read, I almost couldn't read my own writing. <laughs> I don't know why I even try. But it was the best interview that I've heard in a really long time. And let me tell you, it was on Mike's channel, which is Carnal Mad. And it was an interview with Phil, and he's a great grandfather, and he's gone carnivore. I will put that link in so that you can find it because I listened to it, then I put it on again so that Jim could listen to it, and my daughter Emily was here and she was listening to it. We all were listening to this, and it's really, it's 45 minutes long, I think, but it's well worth every minute. So get yourself a good cup of coffee and have a seat and put your feet up and rest while you listen, So and because he's really very interesting. Then when I got done with that, well, now I'm... another one that if you're had stuff you're puttering around. Oh, you could, could you could just listen, listen, but just make sure you pay attention because it's really good. And if you miss anything, you can back it up, rewind. That's the good thing about um, mm. watching anything or listening to anything on YouTube. You can pause it for the moment. If Like when I have to pause, I pause it for a minute to run out to the chickens or run to the bathroom. <laughs> I could do that too. <laughs> a phone call. Or a phone call that comes in and I don't want to miss what's being said so I can put it on pause and then I can rewind a little bit so that I catch what I already heard to make sure I hear it so it blends with what I'm going to be hearing. Okay then that after I watched that then I went to the channel that he had um, mentioned that it's I guess it's the daughter's channel of Phil and what it's called is um, Carnivore Farmer. And I will put that so you can find that too, so that you can watch that. Now that was a really interesting, inter she was interviewing her family members and it had to do with family members that were from age 24 to 71. And it's it was so good i had jim listen to that one too so we've listened to two so i listened to it this morning and then we just listened to it again this evening and the name of that one was six months on carnivore um carnivore diet and then it's got three generations age 24 to 71 and amazing results is i think is what it's titled but I will put that in. You will be amazed at the at the um, reasons that they've gone carnivore. And at the end of um, the carnivore farmer, you've got to stay to the end because the athletic ability of their son is also amazing. In fact, I tried. I'm I'm not I'm not very athletic apparently, or I don't have a spring in my legs. I have a little bench here. How tall is that bench? It's not very tall. He's going to give it to me. I take the dust off the legs. We don't want to show them the dust. We always have dust in here and dog hair. You know, there's that stuff. Everybody has it. There's still a piece hanging over there. Um, there you go. You got it, I guess. Good enough. It's perfect. Okay. This little bench. I can jump it. 
I don't know how high it is. <laughs> I jumped onto it. Jim's going to measure it, or I'm going to measure it. Let me see how tall is it. How tall? What's it say? Six and a half. Six and a half inches high off the floor. I can jump. Yahoo! <laughs> so I guess I have to keep trying. And I, he's got such a spring. He went probably, I don't know, it looked like three good feet. three or four feet. It was high. It was high. And, and, it's, and it was from the ground. And then he did a handstand. And he did a handstand where he jumped. He was doing a handstand. Then he jumped down with his hands to the ground. Then looped his toes to the bar. And then pulled himself up. It was amazing. And the mother, she did pull-ups. I can do pull-ups, but not her pull-ups. She does. I do the pull-ups where my hands are facing me. And I can only do four. <laughs> I've gone down. I used to do more. I haven't practiced in a while. And she did them with her hands facing this way, and she did 20. <gasps> it's unreal. You use more of the tricep, tricep, tricep instead of your bicep. And it's a harder, it's much harder. In fact, when I was going to the gym, because my upper strength is better than most, but apparently not as good as hers, he had me do the easier ones first and then the hard one, which he typically will have them do the hard one first and then go around and go easier because by then their I guess their muscles are fatigued and they can't quite do the others. And um, I will have to really practice. I need to get up to where I can lift over 100 pounds before I think I can even do that type of a pull-up. And I've got to get back to doing my push-ups. I haven't been doing it. She can do 50 push-ups. No, she can do 100 now. She used to do 50. And now she does 100. That's a lot of up and down. In huh? In a row. In a row. No breaks. This is, this, it's like if you were in the military and they say, give me 100, you give 100. I could never do it. And if they say, give me 20 pull-ups, I couldn't do it. Or even 10 or 5. I can't even get to five. That's pretty sad. And I can't get to one on the with my hands this way. I can't get to one. Well, she's not a young lady. And she she's she's, she's close to fifty. Yeah, she's gonna be to she just turned she was forty nine in April and this video was made like the end of August, the first of September, somewhere in there, so she's not quite fifty, but she's pretty darn close. And um it's amazing. It is amazing very much so so i hope you enjoy watching those two videos that i will put into the link i'll put it in the more section so just look for them and i hope you enjoy and i will talk to you all again tomorrow bye